We're going to take a look at the screencasting software that is approved and available to us in the Wake County School System. So let's go ahead and first look at the two that are most likely to be used. So Screencastify and Canvas Studio, which is an instance of Screencast-O-Matic. So if you're familiar with Screencast-O-Matic, it's the same thing, but the paid upgraded version, semi-upgraded version, it doesn't have all the features, but it has more than what the free version has is what Canvas Studio is. And then off on its own planet out there is OBS, which we'll talk about. But let's compare apples to apples. Screencastify and Canvas Studio, looking at the features, pretty much do the same thing. It's really arbitrary out of the three that are approved, Screencastify, Canvas Studio, or OBS. Whichever one you choose a screencast with, that's your personal preference. If you're going to use Canvas Studio, it makes sense to use the recorder, but you don't have to. If you're really satisfied with Screencastify, you have the paid version, you're used to the workflow and the editor and the editing tools and the annotation tools and things like that, then stick with it. Uh, but just to point out a couple of differences that may cause you to consider using the Canvas Studio as your recorder versus Screencastify is that Screencastify saves to your Google Drive. So it's just an additional step of downloading to your computer and uploading to Canvas Studio versus if you record with Canvas Studio, it automatically saves the video in Canvas Studio for you. So that's a personal preference. What I like about Screencastify is exporting as an audio file. I think that's great for podcasting. So even though you record a video, you export the video and just use the audio for your podcast or other audio recordings. They both can add quiz questions and analytics. I haven't dug into Screencastify's newest release yet that involves quiz questions. I glanced at it. I did not see annotations there. Canvas Studio does has annotations, whereas Screencastify, to my knowledge, doesn't. So those are some of the biggest differences and similarities. Now OBS, just to kind of give it a little shout out, that's what I use. I use it because of its features and its capabilities. What I'll do is I'm going to put a optional video called the top five features of OBS for you to look at to consider if you want to go down that road. If you're a newbie starting out with all this, just go with Canvas Studios, Recorder, or Screencastify. But if you are experienced with screencasting and you've used these recorders and you find that you want to do more, but you're hitting limitations, you need something with more features and capabilities, then consider OBS. Check out that video of the top five features. If you want to go down the OBS road, then contact me or your digital learning coordinator and we'll get you up and running with that. But the rest of this course now is going to be a choice you have to make. In the next segment, you'll see whether you go, to go down the Screencastify route and learn how to record and edit with that, or you'll choose Canvas Studio. Or if you want to investigate and just preview what OBS has to offer, take a look at that. So those are the two main screencasting software applications that most people would be using for their video productions.